Hey, hello and welcome here to a new tutorial on the Industrial Digital Alchemy. And I wish everybody a wonderful Happy New Year as we approach 2025. There's been a lot of stuff going on in terms of artificial intelligence, in terms of the fires in LA and the movie industry in general. So at this point, I want to show you something that really caught my attention as it's one of the most interesting and yeah also very fast render engine on engines on the market and this is renderman um renderman has been established in 1986 by the pixar animation house you might know pixar from a lot of movies especially in the animation world like um, the, the movie Up, the guy with the balloons and his wife who's flying away into another country and wants to escape all those city influences of New York and stuff like that. Or you might know um, the movie um, about the A bug's life where all the ants and insects and smaller creatures start to um, discover a world beyond our imagination or you might know Buster Lightyear until infinity and beyond or Toy Story where all our childish dreams of toys become alive and start to also discover the world and start to enhance their abilities to see beyond the rim of the of the of the plate and that is what makes the Pixar movie so emotional. It is what makes the animation movie so um, enhanced because animation as you have noticed is a very young and um, actually a new field. It's not has not been around for so for so long um, it um, has around 40 years in the creation in the 70s of the last century the first computer generated imagery started to get um, into the computers available at this time and mm, in that case it has also an evolution in terms of graphic in terms of shading lighting texturing and this is what makes render man so fascinating that you can get the abilities pixar has also under your hood and when you are able to manage and uh, use this this tool of enchantment you can really achieve great worlds and great emotions and wonderful images and animations render man has also been used in movies like star wars for a long time industrial light and magic is using render man on a on a fairly base that means that it's constant usage of render man in productions like um, the phantom menace or like um, um, the the new skywalker rise of the skywalker or rogue one everybody that loves star wars might know rogue one this side movie beyond the st normal star wars universe about the um, capturing of the death star plans this wonderful sequence where the um, spaceships are fighting on the on the planet where the where the, the the plants are hidden. This is all achieved with Render Man and the ability to use photorealistic um, elements and detail. So in this tutorial, um, I want to give you a a little introduction on how you can implement Render Man into Houdini 
as um, Houdini has become one of the most um, enchanting and uh, interesting and most packed packages for visual effects and animation actually um, at all. But the installation of RenderMan um, is not straightforward in terms that you just download, install and you can use it. You have to do some adjustments like uh, I want to show you now. So you can go here on the RenderMan page. This is RenderMan.Pixar.com You can go here on the, on the uh, browser to try and buy. And you can um, pretty much use it for a long time for free for non-commercial usage. So you can have, have plenty of time to learn, to explore it, to discover the functionality and everything around the RenderMan engine. And um, yeah, what you have to do is um, here to click on the try for free and it will answer all of your questions you have about random man in, in common about the usage of the non-commercial and how you can implement it into your 3d package of choice you then go to free to try. You see you have 120 days for the non-commercial use. It's also from the price range, very affordable. It's not that expensive like other packages. And even, especially in Houdini, it's also using great functionality and the ability to render with Solaris on the XPU as you might know from this from uh, the hybrid implementation of your graphics card and your CPU so click on free try free to try enter your details here answer some of the questions what compositing software and so on And when that is done, you have to log in and download all the specific files that ship with the random man release. Once you downloaded everything and made the installation of the license manager and the random man engine itself, you can see that you have to log into your um, RenderMan forum with your user ID. This is very important that you have a RenderMan um, forum ID, a user ID. It's like an account on the RenderMan uh, page and that you have your password. You enter everything and you're able to acquire this uh, 120 days license as mentioned before so that Houdini uh, that RenderMan and Houdini and Pixar knows okay there we have this license for 120 days this can be now used in that time frame so once you installed everything you can see that you have the Pixar folder in your program files and there's a RenderMan for Houdini 26.2 packages folder those pack those packages folders um, are connected to the packages we know from the Houdini world so we have here inside a JSON file and when you click here you see that it creates the script for us where to find render man in terms of the installation so hit right click hit copy and copy it to the houdini 25 packages folder 
so that Houdini can access the JSON file and can start to read the RenderMan installation properties. If this folder does not exist on your on your hard drive in Houdini 25 in the documents, then create the packages folder. Um, it's something you will use also for other render engines like Redshift or V-Ray. So the packages folder is a very good way to connect um, third-party render engines into the Houdini world. So you can see here is the folder RenderMan for Houdini. It's right inside of our packages folder. And for all the people who still suffer with creation in terms of the Megascans plugin, the packages folder is also the same place where you put in the Megascans JSON file so that Houdini 25 can recognize your um, Megascans Quixel library. So in the Megascans plugin JSON file, you pretty much link your um, packages file to the MS Live link from um, the Quixel library. So you can see here we have here the brackets open the path to our MS Live link. This is the one you download in the Quixel bridge when you download the Houdini plugin. So um, if you're not familiar with the installation, please make sure that you locate your MS Live link download folder from the Quixel plugin. And then you end, you end this, um, this by a, an end bracket. And then you should be able to use the Quixel library also in Houdini 25 and other versions. So inside Houdini, this is what it looks like when everything was um, was correct. We have here Render Man, and we have here the Mega Scans plugin where we also can choose the material to render man. We can use the pixel surface and the same procedure as you might know from other packages, render engine packages. Um, there's nothing that is too foreign or something like that. You have here all your assets. You can create lights inside of RenderMan. You can create an output ROB. And what RenderMan does, it's working with material connections also. So when you want to make a rendering, make sure that you have an integrator in your material um, in your material uh, world there where you have the random man picks path tracer where you can enter all your specific values for indirect lighting for the samples and for the depth and the way of the quality of your image so when you go to render preview this is something very very handy it starts to run an h script in the background and makes a compiled version of your scene in a preview window for render man and let's have a look how this is looking when this is rendered. I almost forgot that Disney is also using RenderMan at a fairly high basis very frequently on productions like you have seen from Snow White or Beauty and the Beast or like um, um, other productions that are 
in the hearts of the of the of the people so here you can see how we get our preview window and we have here our inspector it's like a render frame buffer and as my scene is fairly heavy it takes a little time to calculate everything but you will see in a second <laughs> 